Miss Malaika is proudly brought to you by Infinix Mobility, Kenya Airways, GTP, Tomrick Hotel, GH1 TV. This weekend could be described as the best weekend for our 28 delegates of Miss Malaika Ghana 2019 as we embarked on a journey to the Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm inside Sogakofe for the finishing school. Just when we arrived, of course, we were welcomed so nicely and right after that, it was time for dinner and it was time to go clubbing, which was the best night ever during the finishing school. I'm not going to tell you too much. I really want you to look forward to what we have for you today on Miss Malaka Ghana 2019. My name is Berlin Mundi. You're welcome. Once upon a time, we woke up in Sogakope at the beautiful Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm. Yes, you're welcome to Miss Malaika Ghana. It's officially the finishing school. And here we are, at least getting ready for what is about to come. We arrived last night to some very delicious dinner. And right after that, we had to go party and just get acquainted with the people in Sogakope. There's a lot of work to be done, a lot of grooming sessions for our beautiful delegates. And remember that we will be cutting down to find our top six. But today, oh well, this week there will be sort of like a twist as to how we will select the girls. But in fact, every second here at Bootcamp counts. And we hope that you enjoy every step of the way. My name is Berla Mundi and you are welcome to the 2019 Miss Malaika Ghana. And of course, thanks to all our sponsors for making this a possibility. And again, to Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm. Let's have some fun, shall we? the workout session fun, fun. <laughs> who goes to the gym and says it was fun okay then we should do this every hour right so we're going to have an alarm the next hour you have to change quickly come back here and do some planks and stretches which one was the most difficult the planks right I know I hate it too but it's all part of um, you know the boot camp and I hope that you are enjoying yourself so far so welcome to Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm and welcome to Miss Malaka Ghana 2019 but remember that it is finishing school and as much as we're here to have fun, we're also here to take a look at some of your qualities in order to enable us find the right candidates for our top 16. And so there'll be a task later on today and it's all about team building. We want to see how well you can, you know, um, work as a team because it's important as you move forward in life. There'll be other grooming sessions as well and a lot of other interesting things. If you like food like me, then <laughs> say hello. hello. Hey, you need your six pack, girls. Anyway, so everyone here is a judge, okay? And so, as much as possible, everything you do, you should make sure that you are at least buying yourself a ticket into the top 16. But there are some two people who will be your main judges. And a few years ago, they were just like you. And so, they have undergone grooming session and understand what it means to become a beauty queen. And so let me say hello to Miss Malaka Ghana 2015 and 2016, Kukua and Leah. A round of applause. Good morning. Good morning. I know we didn't let you sleep much, did we? <laughs> but how are you doing? Very cool. Good? Very cool. Yes. Kukua, yes. you are one of our judges yeah, yeah. for selecting our top 16. Yeah. Yeah. Let them know. 
something small, at least. Well, it's a beauty pageant, so I'm looking at beauty, first of all, and then eloquence and elegance. A queen has to be elegant, so that's what I'll be looking at. Definitely, Leah. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I said it all. It's a whole package, so yeah. you just have fun, but you have to know that at the end of the day, these are the things you're looking out for. Definitely. All right, so judges, let me just, um, you know, update you on some happenings. So after the auditions, we selected 26 beautiful delegates, mm -hmm. but we threw in two wild cards. And so just in case you haven't met them yet, I'd like to officially introduce you to them. Okay, so that's Melissa and Frida. Welcome. <laughs> Must feel good. So yes, judges, these are two extra ladies that we added to the pageant. And so I hope that you do a fantastic job this weekend. Yeah? yeah? It's yeah. going to be fun. Okay, so let's go get ready. We have a lot of work to do later on today. So look flawless, look beautiful, as always. Remember, you're always a queen. Okay? All right, see you later. I didn't know it was going to be this tiring. I always see this on telly and it looks so easy going. It's very stressful. My legs are already hurting. But it was fun doing this with the other girls. Like, it was very nice and tiring too. So. Some people believe this generation is self-obsessed because of our love for selfies and how we take pictures of everything. But we know better. We know that a selfie is how you capture and celebrate your journey. If you come across something exciting, take a second to capture it. Record it. Show the world. And you'll never know. It might just be the beginning of something great. That's why we have made the Infinix S4. Infinix S4 with a 32 megapixel AI selfie camera. Empower the Infinity U. Africa, it's amazing and it's ours. So why not get out there and explore it with Kenya Airways? We crisscross this incredible continent over 500 times a week, offering unrivaled connections to over 40 destinations via our world-class hub in Nairobi. There's so much more to see. Discover Africa with Kenya Airways, the pride of Africa. What do you look out for when checking into a hotel? Cleanliness, amenities, food, safety, and more. Turmeric Hotel has it all covered. From our luxurious rooms to our fine dining restaurants, swimming pool, fitness center, business center, conference, and more. At Turmeric Hotel, we understand hospitality, and we go the whole nine yards. Call reservations today on 0302-510-307-03. 302-510-382 or info at tomerichotel.com. Locate us at Shiashi Lagos Avenue in East Legon. Call us today. We welcome you to an amazing experience. Tomerich Hotel. Hospitality redefined. Special thanks to Nasco from Electroland, Holy Trinity Spa and Farms, Belacqua, Perga Transport, Afrisoko Online, Copan Hospitality, Omani Beauty, City Escape Hotels. Welcome back from the commercial break. If you just joined us, it's the finishing school episode and our delegates, after a tiring morning workout, decided to have a swim, get breakfast and enjoy some pampering. Hey there, it's time for boat riding and I'm so excited. Although I'm scared of water, I just want to go and basically have a feel of the breeze, forget about all my troubles, forget about eviction tomorrow, most especially. I don't want to remember that at all. So I just want to have fun, take pictures with my friends and you know, just enjoy.
We just came back from the boat ride and it was super fun. We had so much fun. We took pictures with the ladies. The breeze was just amazing. And I'm here to have fun. That's what I'm doing. Tell me what a day it's been for our beautiful delegates. It's still Miss Malacca Ghana 2019. And just a few hours ago, they were all getting dolled up, getting massages, sauna treatments, and everything you can find in the spa. Ladies, how was it? Good? You are relaxed, right? I know after that massive workout in the morning, you needed something to help you relax. So it's good. But guess what? We're going to work you out a little bit again. So. Just before our main task tonight, we're going to try and get them to build their teams as much as possible. And so it's time for the team building task. And of course, you know that once you belong to a team, it's not about you, but about everyone else in that team. So we're looking for leadership qualities and we're looking for selfless people. Because again, you should look out for everyone on your team. Now, before I run you through what exactly the next task is about, I'd like to put you in groups of seven so we can start, okay? All right, so there we have it. So look at your group members very well. Maybe you should find a leader amongst you now who can motivate her team members. Because if you lose, you are out, okay? Now here's why team building is important. Yes, we might have come to this world all by ourselves, but that's why there's something called a family. And there are relationships that we form along the line. And that's because you cannot survive on your own you need someone around you to help you move to the next level. I hope you're aware of that. So I wish you all the very best. But now let's go straight to our task. Let me explain it, it's very simple. We're forming a chain with balloons. Now the leader of the team obviously will be the one to start. And all you have to do is to run to this line, pick up a balloon and blow out, tie it and go back. Now when you go back, you have to now share the balloon with your partner without touching it. And you need to support it with your stomach and your back. And you have to keep doing that until you get all 40 members in that chain being supported by the balloon. Once you're done, in that same chain, you go ahead and cross this line and you would be done. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, so first round done. It's unfortunate, but Natasha, Nancy Love, Vanessa and Grace had to take a seat because they were last. Now we have only six groups left and we're going to be competing in two groups each. Let me explain. Behind me, you see some cups arranged in no particular order. We're going to blindfold one member of each team. And what you have to do is to find a way to cross with the help of your other group members, who by the way will direct you as to where to place your foot in order not to knock down a cup. If you knock down a cup, you are disqualified automatically. Three, two, one, let's go. One, let's go.
No touching. Time is up, time is up, you are late. I'm not sure if you wanted to sleep here, even though Holy Trinity had provided beds for you. But if you want to stay here, it's fine, except we won't wait for you. But good job anyway. A very interesting afternoon it has been with our delegates. It's still Miss Malaka Ghana 2019, and it's a team building task. Now, earlier we had seven teams who had to compete amongst themselves in order for us to cut down. Now we have our final two teams, and it's interesting. We actually have team one and team seven. So all the teams in between, unfortunately, could not work together as a team as much as these two. So congratulations, by the way, for making it this far. So we're moving on to our final task. Now, each person has to pick a cup, go through the cups, and make sure that they drop that cup they picked behind this line. The moment you drop your cup and cross that line, the next team member has to pick another cup and also do the same. So all four of you have to pick and cross that line, and then we start all over again. You have only 45 seconds to do this. The team with the most cups at the end of the 45 seconds would be our winning team. Action, let's go. up well hold on hold on hold on ladies that was actually very beautiful except that for this team you did not respect the rules of the game you were supposed to go to the end of the line drop your cup before you come back to this line and pick again and so because of that unfortunately you're disqualified and so team one congratulations you're the winning team all right ladies and I hope you enjoyed yourselves and you learned some lessons, didn't you? Yeah, we did. All right, later tonight, we have a task, another task, where you would have to still remain in your groups for a presentation, okay? So for now, I'll let you go, get ready for tonight's task, all right? So all the best, all right, you can go. Thank you so much. And while yes, you're still watching, it's Miss Malaika Ghana, and we have so much more for you, so keep watching. Go team one, go team one. <laughs> yes, and team one won. We are super excited to be the winners of this particular task. We give all thanks to uh, Almighty God, right? Yes. yes, it wasn't easy at all, but then at the end of the day, we came as the winners and we are super excited. We wanna say, oh, say yay! <laughs> Some people believe this generation is self-obsessed because of our love for selfies and how we take pictures of everything. But we know better. We know that a selfie is how you capture and celebrate your journey. If you come across something exciting, take a second to capture it. Record it. Show the world and you'll never know. It might just be the beginning of something great. That's why we have made the Infinix S4. Infinix S4 with a 32 megapixel AI selfie camera. Empower the infinity you. Africa, it's amazing and it's ours. So why not get out there and explore it with Kenya Airways? We crisscross this incredible continent over 500 times a week, offering unrivaled connections to over 40 destinations via our world-class hub in Nairobi. There's so much more to see. Discover Africa with Kenya Airways, the pride of Africa. What do you look out for when checking into a hotel? Cleanliness, amenities, food, safety, and more. Turmeric Hotel has it all covered. From our luxurious rooms to our fine dining restaurants, swimming pool, fitness center, business center, conference, and more. At Turmeric Hotel, we understand hospitality, and we go the whole nine yards. Call reservations today on 0302-510-307-03. 
302 502 or info at hotel.com Locate us at Shiashi Lagos Avenue in East Legon. Call us today. We welcome you to an amazing experience. Tomerick Hotel, hospitality redefined. Thanks to our trending team, Ronnie is everywhere. Amayal Debra, Econconsa.com, GH Kweku, Feinberg, Ghana Web, Pulse Ghana, amazing memorable photography by Chocolate Shot It. You're still watching Miss Malacca Ghana 2019. It's the finishing school and we're here at the Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm. Miss Malacca Ghana is proudly brought to you by Infinix Mobility, Laurel Africa, Kenya Airways, Copan Hospitality, Tomic Hotel, GTP, Nasco from Electroland, Afrisoko, Omani Beauty, Belacqua, Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm, Pega Transport, City Escape, Belacqua, Chocolate Shot It. And of course, special thanks to you for tuning in as well. We have had our girls experience a lot of good stuff today and there have been a number of activities as well. But now we're wrapping up our day with our last task. Still in their groups, they've been tasked to come up with a topic so that they can tell us what they think about it or what they've learned about it as well. So now let's go to my ladies. Good evening. Good evening. How's everyone doing? You're tired, right? Yeah. Too much for you in a day. But don't worry, we'll wrap it up nicely. And I'm sure that you're prepared for tonight's task as well. Yeah. Have you been able to select your topics yet? Yes. And you're very sure that you can defend that topic? Yeah. All right, fingers crossed. I wish you luck. But we're looking out for a lot of elegance and eloquence and poise. You understand what I mean, right? So give it your best shot. Okay, because our two past queens are here with us. And like I mentioned earlier, they'll be scoring you on every step and move so even when you breathe add some eloquence you understand right but good evening queens how are you good. all right so tell me you've been with our ladies so far so good yeah it's been yeah? good it's been good and tonight's expectations well i'm looking for delivery and eloquence basically we've all had right. fun we've seen their fun side now getting down to the real business all right so down to real business all of you have to speak on your topic and so i wish you the very best i'll be in my corner cheering you on so don't worry just relax and flow okay all right can i have the first team good evening ladies my name is agnes asari and we are group one and we are here to talk about sexual harassment when we talk about sexual harassment it's said to be unwelcomed sexual gestures requests for sexual favors and either um, physical or verbal sexual conducts in the company, there are secretaries around dressing with cleavage, exposing themselves um, to other employees. It could easily arouse your feelings. That is a form of sexual harassment. I'm here to give the effects of sexual harassment. One of it will be depression. And it is when someone loses interest in things. Thank you very much. Yes, my name is Gifty Mawena Awuku, and sexual harassment can be resolved by being confident and letting him or her know that what he or she is doing isn't right. Good evening, ladies. I'm Henry Tashika Boglu, and on behalf of Group 2, I'm here to introduce our topic for discussion, which is peer pressure in tertiary schools. So peer pressure, in my own terms, is a subtle or coercive way of directly or indirectly influencing one's age group through decision making, actions, inactions, or our behavior. Well, I think that the primary cause of peer pressure in tertiary institutions is the need to fit in. A lot of people come from different backgrounds and it's a new environment that you find yourself in. Some effects of peer pressure at the tertiary level are drug addiction and also, most, in most cases, dropping out of school. There's no defined way to avoiding peer pressure. You should know how to say no and stand by it. Good evening, ladies. My name is Stephanie Doku and we are Group 3. We are here to discuss about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is a form of harassment that takes on on the internet. It's also called an online bullying because it mostly takes on on social medias. It comes in different forms. I would like to highlight on just two, flaming and then exclusion. We wake up one day and someone removes us from the page. It's so humiliating and that's cyberbullying. We also have flaming. When um, someone writes mean words about you on social media, like you are a big fool. So people experiencing cyberbullying or people who have suffered from cyberbullying 
tend to be very insecure. Some of them have low self-esteem and some even fall into depression. I think we shouldn't respond to bullies when they comment bad on your pictures and then when someone bullies you online then you feel depressed. You have to open up to someone because sometimes when you open up to people you feel more relaxed and relieved. Good evening ladies. We are group four. We are here to present on mental health that is suicide among our peers. Suicide is when someone intentionally kills herself or himself. I would like to touch on the causes and examples of suicide. Depression, anxiety, um, substance abuse such as alcoholism and drug abuse. The main effect of suicide, grief suffered by the family and friends of the victim can be severe and far-reaching. Suicide gives negative impact to the youth and young ones. He or she doesn't want to take his life because he wants to die, but because he wants to kill that pain that he feels. So what can we do to offer help? Victims of depression can make an attempt to see a therapist, a psychologist, or talk to people that they think they can trust. Remember, no matter what, whatever the case may be, suicide is never the option. Say no, no to suicide. suicide. Thank you. Good evening, ladies. This is Group 5, and we are here to talk about the rights of slay queen in Ghana. In layman's language, a slay queen is someone who wants to choke anyone else with how beautiful they feel they are and do their own cool stuff, not forgetting the blonde opinion. Most ladies feel that they, they need to be slay queens in order to gain popularity. When we, when we go on social media, on Instagram, you see all these ladies, they dress a certain kind of way, you know, make people who come to their page feel that, oh, they are living a certain kind of lifestyle. In Ghana, especially the ladies, sometimes look up to these slay queens and then they try to portray their image as well. And then we tend to be something we are not, just so we can match up to their standard, which is not right because indirectly they're making us not feel beautiful and it's not something that's supposed to be there as a young lady growing up. All that glitters is not gold. So if you see somebody dressed or traveling, doesn't mean the person used a, a right channel to get to where the person is. So just be content with what you have and you'll be happy. Thank you. Hello ladies. We are here to talk about women shaming. Women shaming is basically the discrimination of women in many forms. Most men in Ghana are being criticized and punished for violating dress code. We also have most women being shamed by not getting married early and also giving birth at a tender age. Some effects of women shaming can be the tarnishing of said women's images. And due to this, a lot of people disregard whatever they say and do not place any value on their words or whatever they come out to the public to say. Well, the solutions of ending women's shaming isn't far-fetched, really. It, it, it's psychological. We just need to make a conscious effort to stop being judgmental because some find gratification in shaming, but really, there's more empowering in lifting. Hello, everybody. This is Group 7, and we are here to talk about skin bleaching. Dear dark skin lady, you are perfection personified. Skin bleaching is basically the practice of using chemical substances which are very high in mercury to lighten the skin by reducing the melanin concentration in the skin. Imagine you're in a class with people and they, they pass silly comments such as, hey, blackie, charcoal. Hey, as for you, if I, if I turn off the lights, I don't see you at all. Statements like these, people might take it lightly, but then others will think about it throughout the day, then they might tend to bleach in. There's a vivid evidence that skin lightening can cause severe negative effects and complications. From a medical standpoint, bleaching can cause dark spots, acne, scars, burns. The mercury and the hydroquinone in these products bring about blood poisoning, which eventually leads to liver cancer and kidney cancer. Most people actually buy cosmetics without knowing it actually bleaches. So the best thing to know to do is always look out for the bleaching agent, which is hydroquinone, to always um, be on the safer side. Thank you. Great job, ladies. That was impressive. But I'm not the one giving the judgment here. I'm going to go back to my two queens. Kukwa, you haven't Hello, spoken Bella. this evening. Yes. What are your thoughts on their performance so far? Everything about the presentation today was really, really impressive. Mm. These ladies picked their topics today. They formed the groups today. Even you could see connection 
from the presentation. Mm -hmm. And so it was very good. Okay. It was yeah. good. Leah, same for you as well. You're impressed? Yeah. Well, a round of applause for all of you. A job well done. There's still room for improvement, but of course we know that this is just the beginning and so there's so much more that we can learn. And so I hope that you have taken some lessons from this session as well. Guess what? It's party time! So yes, we've been informed that Dr. Anya, who is the CEO of um, Holy Trinity Spine Health Farm, has organized a special party for our delegates and I'm hearing the delegates from Ghana's Most Beautiful are also in the house and so we'll get to interact with them and also get to know them even better and so tomorrow actually you get to meet our queens one on one and so all the best have fun tonight and tomorrow morning we start all over again let's do this keep watching it's still Miss Malaika Ghana finishing school Infinix S4. I had a dream, and in that dream I was home again. In the land where the warm sun smiles and the wind sings sweet songs. I was looking for something endless. And I found it, a piece of forever, wrapped around my heart. Who I am is draped in glory. I am timeless. GTP, timeless. You know how a family is. We're all the same, yet different in our tastes. That is why we have a drink for everyone. Whether it's for the easy-go-lucky ones, or for the not so easy ones. The urban swags. Or for the deep rooted. For the ones who shine during the day. Or for the ones who sparkle at night. For the bubbly ones. Or for the one who is cool as ice cold water. For the ones who love to flex. Or for the active ones. For the young ones, or for the young at heart. Whatever be the difference, we are Ghanaians, and we are one big, fun-loving family. Fun beverages for Ghana, by Ghana. Beverages from Bell family. Proudly Ghanaian. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Delegate stylish designs and clothing by African by Nana, Sherry Brown Couture, Nipo Skin, Gifty Glycer Attar, Sante Trends, Ajua Yebua Clothing, Lamle Couture, Kweku Ejenim Boating, September by Awulana, Annie's Bespoke, Akuchi, Echuba Couture, Bull and Wood Merchandise, Everything Girly Boutique, Number One Fan Clothing. It's day three of Miss Malaka Ghana 2019, the finishing school, and we're still here at the Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm, where our delegates get to meet our queens one-on-one. -on -one. But before that, I'd like to say a big thank you to our sponsors for making this show a possibility. Special thanks going out to Infinix Mobility, L'Oreal Africa, Kenya Airways, Copan Hospitality, Tomrick Hotel, GTP for our lovely fabrics, Nasco from Electroland, Afrisoko, Omane Beauty, GH1 TV, Japan Mo Photos, Belacqua, Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm, City Escape, Pega Transport, and Chocolate Shotted for our beautiful photos. Hello, ladies. Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. You've been partying too much. <laughs> Way too much. Who's the best dancer amongst you? Hey. Oh, is it? You want to show us a move or two? Hey! Go hey. <laughs> you. But I'm glad you all had fun. Yeah. And yes, the work continues. 
And so today, like I mentioned earlier, you'll be meeting our two beautiful past queens. And this time around, it is all up to you to at least defend your spot in the top 16. So they'll be interacting with you and basically they just want to get to know you a little better. And so all the best. And when we're done, I'll let you in on the twist. Shall we? <laughs> all right, let's do this. Hi ladies. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, right. Relax and let's talk, okay? Girls, okay. girls, all right? Sure. Okay, so Elizabeth, hi, Laura. Um, I just have the passion for, for it. it. And then um, when I see lawyers dress up with their black and white, it's just nice for me. <laughs> so then I just wanted to pursue law. Melissa, where do you see yourself in the future? As a Supreme Court judge. Mm, all right. <laughs> are you studying law in any way? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Juliet, what do you do? Um, I'm a cake mm. I have a shop, a gift oh, shop, a flora yeah. and a cake shop too. Well, when I win Miss Malika 2019, I'm going to use the platform to create stamina awareness, help them improve and then tell them that they can become whoever they want they to want be, to even be. a beauty queen like me. Because yeah. I stammer as well, but then yeah. I'm here today. All right, all right. All the best with that. All right, so Kukwa, what do you think happened that didn't make you enter the pageant proper last year? Okay, I think I was a little shy. Yes. And I wasn't ready. Mm. So I see that as an advantage because I was able to learn and have experiences from the other girls. So I want to be part of Miss Malaika because I want to be able to challenge myself and know how to perform under spotlight and also help in the charity projects that Malaika has to offer. Well, I'm Agnes and I'm in the University of Education University. Okay. I'm from Ukraine. So you are an Ikea Kim. Oh, okay. So what's your local name? I'm Adobia. Oh, you know I'm also called Adobia. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself. Well, my name is Gifty Marina Uku. I am 19 years old. 19? Yes. Wow, I see. I'm working as an assistant teacher now in Delta Montessori School. And I love what I do. Mm -hmm. Actually, I love kids. So working with them has been so amazing. Oh, okay. But anyway, I have an aim of furthering my education. Yeah. I want to become a journalist one day. And wow. I hope that my dreams will come to pass. Um, I joined Miss Malaika because I want to use this platform to boost um, confidence in my fellow Muslim ladies yeah. Um, yeah. to take part in beauty pageants like this because what I've realized is that most of us do not involve ourselves in things like this so yeah. I'm sure if I do this and someone sees this it will give the person the zeal to go for, for it. it yes can you tell us a little bit about publishing studies publishing is basically sharing information through a publication okay all right what about you coming up I've always been interested in law yeah so yeah. I actually chose law yeah but then my second option was political science yeah so I had my second option yes. But then I'm glad I found myself in that area because I think it's a stepping stone to um, I have passion for mathematics and calculation yeah. okay okay and I chose um, accounting because I really love zeros and I see the world in a calculation way. Error. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sophie, you are a medicine student. Yes. Medicine is seven years? Six years. Six. Yes. So do you plan on specialising? Yes, I actually on plan on. What? I want to be a pediatric surgeon because oh, I love children. Yes. Wow, that's nice. Yes. I see. I plan on embarking on a campaign against cyberbullying okay. because earlier this year it was very tough for me. It was a very sad experience. I was depressed and I want to help people going through it too because they need all the help they can get. How yeah. do you feel being a cutie in a class <laughs> full of male aspiring engineers? Well, it's, it feels good though, but from the beginning it's like, whoa, you don't belong here. This is a male yeah. territory. And, but I feel proud of myself because yeah. though it's tough, but then um, I realize there's more to women than just what mm -hmm. people think. So what course are you offering in school? I read communication. I actually want to be a <laughs> diplomat. I want to um, be You want to be traveling the world. Oh, I see, I, I want see. To my country That's innovative. Tell me about yourself. I'm Phyllis Vesta Boysen. I'm 19 years old. Yeah. I'm in the University of Ghana studying Bachelor of Science in Administration, yeah. specifically accounting. I'm Vesta Obino Amokwata and yeah. I'm a journalism graduate from Ghana Media School and currently I'm a fashion student at Marshalls University. I do runway modeling as well. Five years from now, I see myself pursuing my dreams in yeah. journalism or yeah. public relations. I decided to read English because law is generally a difficult course. However, when you have certain skills like like um, logical mind, yeah. being a good writer and being detail oriented, which I got from the English, yeah. it makes it a lot easier. If you don't make it to top 60, would you try again next year? Of course. Wow, perseverance. Huh? <laughs> when I was asked my questions, I think I wasn't 
I wasn't bold enough. Confidence, okay. Yes. But this time around, I'm more confident. Kama <laughs> <laughs> simply means putting a tanga. Yeah. So we do this festival to put a tanga. Do you know how to do the quickly? No, but I will learn. Yeah, you have I to see, learn. That's a gang girl. You have to learn I'll about learn. it. I'd, I'd like to adopt the Accra Rehabilitation Center because the place is in a really deplorable state. Kimberly, tell me, what do you do? I'm a student. A lot of people don't know about health service, but okay. I chose it because just like we have bank um, bank managers at banks, yeah. that's the same way we have administrators in hospitals. Even oh. though they don't come into contact with the patients, oh. they manage the day-to-day -day affairs of oh, the hospital. hospital. Right. Okay, so I would love to work on mental health awareness because yeah. there's a lot of stigmatization about people suffering with mental health issues. Yeah. Just how yeah. we take care of our physical bodies. Yeah. We need to yeah. take care of our mental health too. So yeah. I'd like to create awareness. I want people to see me as someone with deep expert in the business field. I want to take up managerial roles. That's how I want people to see me. Well, I believe life it's a big project and when you start well you definitely finish well yeah. so everything you do you have to put in your all and make sure you are prepared for everything you stand for okay i hope you all heard it yes, yes. prepare and stand for something all right ladies how was the session good yeah. were you nervous no. oh no that means our queens did a good job yeah. <laughs> okay queens how did it go for you personally it means a lot to me that young girls are, are pushing for something, standing for something, having a purpose. So I was not just impressed with the looks and the English and all that, but it means so much to me that there are, we have a great future ahead of us. Yeah. Definitely. And always remember that life stops when you stop educating yourself. Yeah. All right, so now to the main twist that I was telling you about. <laughs> so right before I announce the results from our two queens, each of you would have to vote secretly for who you think deserves to be in the top 16 aside from you. So you'll be voting amongst yourselves. Are you ready? So I'm going to be hiding in my little corner and you have to come one after the other to let me know who you're voting for. And you're still watching Ghana's most prestigious beauty pageant, Miss Malaika Ghana. It is the finishing school. And yes, gradually, we're inching towards the end. But a big thank you again to GTP, our official fabric sponsor, and also to Etruba Couture, September by Awulana, Anis Bespoke, Glisa Attire, Sherry Brown Couture, Lamle Couture for our ladies' beautiful skirts, and also special thanks to Yatel for my outfit. Now to the ladies. Just a quick reminder that a few minutes ago, the ladies were asked to vote for who they think deserves a spot in the top 16 aside from themselves. But I did mention that there would be a twist. It could be that maybe this year we could decide to go with 19 girls, with 10 girls straight away, or there could be another kind of twist. Before that, there are two of you who get an automatic entry into the competition proper before the subsequent announcements. One of these two ladies got the most votes from all of you and the other was selected by our two queens here. Congratulations to you, Kezia. Congratulations. Now the truth here is that Kezia, aside getting the most votes from you, was actually selected by our judges as their pick. But just because she also got votes from you, the judges decided to at least be fair to another delegate and give her that opportunity to join Kezia right behind me. So also congratulations to, where's Sophie? There she is. Congratulations, Sophie. Thank you. We had a delegate vote and we were fortunate to be selected the first two ladies to have automatically <laughs> made it and <laughs> we are so happy we are so, we are excited. so excited we don't know what to do but then we're expecting and we are hoping for the best and yes <laughs> yes it's just the beginning and we're just hoping that we'll be doing better as time goes on <laughs> and then there'll be more happy moments yes so there we have it our first two delegates and so in actual fact eviction is not happening today 
I know some of you almost collapsed. So you'll be receiving a phone call later this week to know your verdict. And so please keep your phones very close to you because that is when you'll find out if you've made it or not. We still have 14 more slots. So 14 more delegates will make it. Congratulations again for coming this far. And thank you so much to our judges as well for a fantastic job here at the Finishing School. We're very grateful that you joined us and we know you'll do a good job in selecting. All right, yes, it's still Miss Malaika Ghana, the Finishing School. We've just wrapped up on what could have been an eviction. Miss Malaika Ghana 2019 has been brought to you by Infinix Mobility, Laurel Africa, Kenya Airways, Copan Hospitality, Tomic Hotel, GTP for our lovely fabrics, Nasco from Electroland, Afrisoko, Omane Beauty, GH1 TV, Japan Motors, Belacqua, Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm, City Escape, Pega Transport, Chocolate Shutters. I had a dream, and in that dream I was home again. In the land where the warm sun smiles and the wind sings sweet songs. I was looking for something endless, and I found it, a piece of forever wrapped around my heart. Who I am is draped in glory. I am timeless. GTP, timeless. I'm done. After the wedding bell sees all newly wedded couples yearn for a memorable honeymoon. Do you want a honeymoon full of fun, relaxation, silliness, sports and wellness, love, or adventure for the ultimate honeymoon destination? Visit the Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm. So go copper. One hour drive from Accra, Tema. How, ah, what a weekend it was. Like I said, the girls enjoyed themselves so much. But I promised you that at the end of the finishing school, we will be getting in touch with them individually to let them know which of them have made it into the competition and which of them would have to say goodbye. And so, it is that time. I'm going to call them and let them know what their verdict is. All right, I have my first delegate on the line and that's Frida. Uh, we said we're going to call and let you know whether you've made it or not. So guess what? I'm sorry, Frida. But you have to join us this year for Miss Malaika Ghana. <laughs> Congratulations, Frida. Hi, Gisela. Congratulations, you've made it to Miss Malaika Ghana 2019. And you received a message in your head net. Can you imagine? <laughs> But congratulations, darling. Hi, Elizabeth. Guess what? You're part of Miss Malaka Ghana 2019. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, Fimba. Congratulations. <laughs> You're welcome. Habiba. So the judges have asked me to let you know that they love you so much and they want you to be part of Miss Malaka Ghana 2019. So congratulations. <laughs> Hello Grace, Hi. I just want to let you know that you've qualified, you're part of the top 16, so congratulations. Oh my god, thank you so much. 
<laughs> Hello. Gertrude, hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Bella. Based on the scores collated by the judges, you didn't oh. make it this year. <laughs> I'm so sorry, okay? Oh. But I'm Bella, sorry. Sure? Yes, I am. I'm sorry, Gertrude. Hi, Gifty. Hi. Unfortunately, you didn't make it this year, Gifty. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gifty. Take it easy. Listen, I tried three times before I was selected, so don't take this badly. All right. How are you? I'm fine. All right. This is just to make it quick and to let you know that I think you should try again next year. All right? I love your spirit, by the way. All right, thank you so much too. Henrietta, so based on the judges score sheet, unfortunately, you didn't make it into Miss Malaika Ghana this year. I'm so sorry. Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. Melissa, unfortunately, you didn't make it. I'm so sorry, but keep trying again, okay? okay. All right. Bye. All right, Maliana. Unfortunately, your best was not enough for this year, and I think you should try again next year. Sorry, you didn't make it. Bye. All right, thank you so much. Bye. All right. So, Agnes, yeah. I think you're so beautiful, by the way. Thank you. And I think you should try again next year. You didn't make it. And I wish you the very best. So Nancy. Hello. Unfortunately, you didn't make it. Oh. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Natasha. You didn't make it. Don't be discouraged. I tried three times before I was selected. Okay. So I hope to see you next year. Vanessa. <sighs> I'm sorry, Vanessa, but you didn't make it. Aww. I'm so sorry. Okay. Vesta. Yes. Unfortunately, you did not make it into the top 16. Oh. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. Juliet, congratulations. You've made it. <laughs> Hi, Auntie. Please remember to support her all the way to the top, okay? okay. All right, Kim. So maybe you didn't make it. Hi, I got you. I'm lying. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, congratulations, sweetheart. Anyway, Hamdia, guess what? You've made it into Miss Malaika Ghana. Congrats. See you in camp. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I did my best. I tried everything possible. Mm. I'm hoping I made it. This is very tough, especially if you've already been told once that you didn't make it, and I have to say the same thing again. I'm so sorry, Kukwa. It's all good. I'm it's so all sorry. Good. It's all good. Guess what? You're not staying home. You're joining us on Miss Malaika Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> We've called every single person, and unfortunately for you, you didn't make it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Congratulations, I'm lying, you made it. <laughs> You've left your phone. <laughs> Hello, Alma. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello, Phyllis. So I'm just checking your results right now and you didn't seem to do so well. So sorry, but you didn't make it. I was hoping you'd cry, but since you didn't cry, congratulations. At least, can you scream? I was just lying about you not making it. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Congratulations. You can't scream, eh? Because of where you are. <laughs> well done, and I wish you the best in the competition. 
All right, so there you have it, our top 16 selected delegates for Miss Malaika Ghana 2019. A lot of screams and shouts and a few broken hearts. But at the end of the day, only one person would become Miss Malaika Ghana 2019. The journey officially has begun. And I hope you might have spotted your favorite. So there we have it, Frida Gisela, Phyllis Juliet, Kimberly, Alma, Kukwa, Fimba, Sophie, Hamdia, Habiba, Kezia, Elizabeth, Grace, Stephanie, and Portia. Anyway, so the next time you see us, we will officially be unveiling our top 16 delegates, after which you can start supporting your favorite. And so thank you so much for watching the finishing school and final selection of Miss Malaika Ghana. And I'd like to say a big, big thank you to all our sponsors for making this show a possibility. Infinix Mobility, L'Oreal Africa, Kenya Airways, Copan Hospitality, Tomrick Hotel, GTP, Nasco from Electroland, Afrisoko, Omani Beauty, GH1 TV, Japan Motors, Belacqua, Holy Trinity, City Escape, Pega Transport, Chocolate Shotted. And big thank you going out to the Gold Coast Restaurant for giving us this beautiful place to record. And also thanks to all our designers for supporting this episode and supporting our girls. And also thank you going out to the Ultimate Closet for my outfit. The next time you see us, you'll be seeing our 16 selected delegates.